So we came out to Northwest Colorado to check out Dinosaur National Monument. Uh, we also stepped over into northeastern Utah as well. But now we're seeing what else there is to do in the area. So we are headed just south of the small town of Rangeley, Colorado today to an area called Canyon Pintado. It is a historic district set up by the BLM to protect a bunch of sites. Mostly rock art, but some other archaeological sites as well. So not all the sites that we're looking at today are rock art. Some are just archaeological points of interest, I would say. Like the one that we're at right now, which is Lookout Point, which has a three-sided rock wall. It could be a lookout, but it's actually more likely a calendar. There's holes that have been drilled in the rock that line up with the equinox and the solstice. And they suspect it had something to do with managing crops, knowing when to plant and such. There's evidence that people have lived and used this area for thousands of years. Most of the stuff we're seeing is from the Fremont people, which is a thousand to two thousand years ago. Although there are, there's some rock art here that is potentially much older than that, and there's some that is more recent, as well as some evidence of life here even in the 20th century. Today we're seeing pictographs and petroglyphs, and if you're not sure about the difference, you're not alone, I wasn't either. Turns out it's really simple. Pictographs are drawn on top of the stone with pigments and minerals, like this guy. And petroglyphs are carved into the rock, like this. So now you know the difference too.
finished visiting all eight sites in the Canyon Pintado Historical District. And it was a good way to spend the day driving through a canyon that I think most people probably just blow right through. To me, it's pretty amazing. There are all these sites right off this 14-mile stretch of road, all these sites um, that you wouldn't, you wouldn't realize were, were there. Yeah, it's amazing that there's so many sites that are just on the roadside. So mm -hmm. like you say, it's hard to imagine how many are just out in the world that are hard, <coughs> harder to get to. And as far as pulling over, it was pretty, everything's well marked and there's always plenty of room to park. So you never, it's a 65 mile an hour road, but you were always plenty off the road, even on just the pullouts. Yeah, and the signs are pretty big. You just have to keep an eye out for them because they are like right at the sites. They're not, you know, they give you a lot of warning. Most of the sites were just one or 200 yards of walking, sometimes up a pretty good hill, sometimes flat. There's one site that we stopped at that did have a, a bigger system of trails and a number of places to stop along the way there. That site is the site that had a, a bathroom and a picnic shelter. Yes, that yep. is um, east four mile and it's sort of in the middle. We are out of time for today, but if we wanted to keep going, there are actually four more sites south of Rangeley on a dirt road called the Dragon Trail, and then there are four more sites to the north of town as well. We will link to the maps that we used below um, so that you can use those as well if you'd like to visit. So until we meet again in the next video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks.